Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on this Volvo S60. Uh, before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner. And we'll get started on some of the tools here in just a moment. So the oil grade I'm going to go with is a 5W20. I think the OEM is 0W20, so you can use whichever you're comfortable with. This is the oil filter removal tool you're going to need. It is 84 centimeters, I think it is. Let's see, or 85.5 millimeters. Okay, that's going to be the crush washer, and that's going to be the oil filter. As far as, you're just going to need a standard socket set as well. I don't have any of the bits or anything ready just yet, but I'll go over it here once I know it. So for my setup, I want to put it on wheel ramps, like so. Make sure you get it up to operating temperature. We want to make sure you pop your hood. It's on the, on the driver's side. Go to the front. All right, now so from the driver's side, there's a latch right here where my finger is. And just to be careful with your hood. All right, so just kind of look around. I'm going to look for my oil filter, excuse me, where we uh, add oil. It's right here. Just open it up so it flows a little smoother. Going down to the bottom. All right, so now we're going to go under the car. All right. Okay. These little fasteners right here, this is going to be a Torx 30. Just follow the pattern around this little tray situation, loosen it all up. All right, so the drain bolt is back here. I'm going to try to see if I can move it so you can see it. Hopefully you can see me pointing to it, but it's right here. This is a 7 millimeter bit, or socket, excuse me. Got an oil catch can of some kind. Let that drain out for a little bit. All right, well, we're going to let that keep draining. Let's go ahead and remove the oil filter it's right next to it. Well, kind of right next to it, but right there. Let's get a separate pan. Make sure that's okay. That should cover it. All right. Your cup should be very flush on it. I usually like to push it upward just to make sure I don't, so I don't strip the uh, filter housing. Oh my goodness, all right. Here we go, here we go, all right. All right it's probably going to get messy here in a moment. Let's up a little more. Oh. Here we go. 
I usually do it how I just did it. There's technically, well, I'll show you more in a moment once I put this somewhere. All right, so what I was saying earlier is technically you can remove this drain bolt right here. I think that's a six millimeter Allen key. You can uh, reverse that out, let it start draining out slowly, but I usually just take the whole housing off because it's a little faster. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this all prepared for my new filter. Should come out. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. There's a little gasket right here. Take this gasket off and we're gonna replace it with our new one. Let me zoom out. Awesome, there is our gasket filter. Okay, good, it looks the same. All right, I'm just gonna zoom in real quick. Whoops, let me adjust the camera. So when you pull off these gaskets, just make sure that little O-ring actually comes off. You see it, you can, you can see it better on the new one actually, because the new one's, the new one's a green. That little green O-ring, make sure that it came off the old one before you reinstall it. I'm just gonna get a plastic pick tool, pull this off, and then lube up the new one and put it on. Okay, just pulling off the old O-ring. another little o-ring in here again this is if you're going to replace this allen key or allen head right here there's a rubber gasket in there as well i'm actually going to leave mine on it looks it's not leaking at all so i'm not going to really mess with it but totally up to you let's press fit this back in all right back into the car now Make sure it seats down flush first and then I'll torque it back on. This is going to be 19 foot pounds. Okay. Again, 19 foot pounds. This is, I have it on my torque wrench. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget the uh, housing right now. I'm gonna pull it off here in a moment. I'm just gonna double check the 19 millimeter, excuse me, 19 foot pounds of torque here momentarily, but let's go back towards the back. This right here is gonna be 28 foot pounds. And then let's see, we we'll replaced the, the crush washer. Once again, 28 foot pounds. Make sure it seats on there nice and snug before you start pulling on it. You don't want to round it off. Okay. You guys heard it. Now 
gonna go back up top. I'm gonna fill it up with, it's almost a six quarts. I don't think you need to see this part because I'm trying to keep the video short. Um, once I put in my six quarts, I'm gonna go, uh, crank up the car and then make sure it doesn't leak under here. And then of course put on the uh, under tray and everything. But if you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner and leave your questions and comments below for the group. Thanks.